Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So I've been thinking quite a bit about this kind of a play to earn uh, mechanic that we've been talking about and seeing in Axie Infinity really driving a lot of uh, engagement there, driving people to play the game. And play to earn is really, uh, really around tokens. So in play to earn games, typically there's a way of playing the game um, and earning tokens and then those tokens can then be um, kind of sold sold out and you can kind of extract extract the value um, uh, that way and, and clearly that's a part of, of blockchain games is um, the reason to use a blockchain is everything uh, in a blockchain game or anything in a, in a blockchain application has value attached to it and you need a token um, in it on a blockchain that's sort of how, how a blockchain sort of works to, to assign value and, and incentive um, and, and this is all kind of well and good. The problem that tends to happen with free to play, uh, with sort of play to earn games with tokens is you have to be very careful about bots. So bots are just like, uh, you know, robotic systems. Um, and if there's the ability to say extract some sort of uh, value, even if it's very small, even if it's like one cent a day, um, then, then it, someone will, someone somewhere will build like a, like a, you know, a hundred thousand um, kind of bot army um, and start extracting um, all the value from your, from your economy and, and, and crashing it. Um, and this is like a real tension that you have um, kind of kind of all the time with tokens. Now, uh, equally, uh, we kind of know from other types of games that free to play um, gaming is massive and really and kind of grew the games industry like, you know, kind of a, you know, uh, like doubled the doubled the financial scale of it and, and, and increased the number of people playing probably probably doubled, tripled, uh, tripled that as well. So free to play is clearly a massively important sort of marketing uh, mechanic. Um, but free to play is very difficult with play to earn because in play to earn you're sort of uh allowing people to extract value from your game because that's a blockchain game and if you're allowing them free access to your game to extract value you basically run out of value quite quickly because people just extract all the value so that's why we've seen things like axe infinity you can't play it it's not free to play you have to own the axes in the first place you have to buy in the axes and then you can extract the value so that's kind of a good a good sort of bot kind of gating mechanic um but there are other games that can sort of do um that kind of combine free to play and and a bit of play to earn. I don't think you can do, at the moment we're not seeing like kind of full play to earn. And one of those is, is, is uh, something like Axie Infinity. So this is what I'm looking at now. This is actually the marketplace for Axie Infinity. Um, and, and this shows all the axes that have ever been created. There's about 50 of them so far. And most of these have been sold. So actually Blanco's is a free, is a free game. If you want to uh, go in and play it, um, you can go to kind of Blanco's, download the PC uh, client. That's what it is, a PC game. Um, and, and when you start the game, you get a free Blanco. So that's not an NFT. There's a little red one called Noob, um, but he, but that that um, Blanco has all the characteristics that you need for you know just playing the game, and you get it for free, so that's fine. You can just sort of experience the game, and if you want to then go and buy some of these special ones, you can go and do that. Um, equally, if you actually if, if you fulfil the tutorial, you get a slightly better um, one called Trickle. Uh, again, that's not an NFT. That's not that's not on a blockchain. That's just like a like a game asset. You can't resell it. That's the that's the important thing. On a blockchain, you can resell stuff. But equally. Um, Blancos isn't just about buying stuff. So most of these, most of these ones here you're seeing are blancos that have been um, been made available through a through a shop for a certain period of time and and are now no longer available. But obviously people who own them in their wallets can now sell them on the marketplace. So all to do here was sold. You could buy him for ten dollars, you know, at the start of the year, um, and now he's going for thirty dollars. And some of these other ones were given away. So interestingly, Billy, Billy, some of these Billy Bone ones, um, Billy Bones flip, Billy Bones, uh, Billy A Bones. Um, these ones were ones that were sort of given away before the game even started. So these were like competitions they were given away um, by South by Southwest, actually, I think, 2018. Um, so these were sort of ones that were just kind of air airdropped before the game was out, before people had wallets. And um, there's kind of ways, obviously, of doing that. Um, and that's continued with Blanco's Block Party. So this one here, Blankenstein in particular, is really interesting. Um, so it was given away. If you watch the, uh, there was, there was a, a, the official Twitch E3 stream uh, that went on through, through E3 a um, couple of weeks ago, and Blanco's had half an hour in that. And if you watch that, um, stream through Twitch. Um, there's a way through Twitch of sort of airdropping digital assets, not blockchain ones particularly, but any digital asset. Um, if you and, and basically you have to attach your game account to, to Twitch, and then and then that basically triggers um, the, the, the sort of in-game asset being being uh, dropped to you. And in the case of Blanco's, this was a a, a, a NFT, a blockchain um, uh, item called Blankenstein. We can see 3,929 people have, have, have kind of done this. Um, and, and this now is worth $40. So basically the cheapest one, I should say, is worth $40. So, so basically people who just watched the stream and connected their accounts basically got a free NFT. Um, so, so in a sense, that is you know free to play because the, Blanco is a free to play game, but there is also play to earn in the sense that you would airdrop an asset that you could now sell for forty dollars. Obviously, forty dollars, you know, is, is is not really that much money, even even in places like the Philippines. Um, but you can kind of get an idea how this sort of stuff would work. And there's another one. Let's have a look. <clears throat> the current one 
called Sergeant Poppy. So Sergeant Poppy is actually part of, of effectively the battle pass, um, kind of a mechanic in Blanco's block party. So in, in the battle pass, as, as with Fortnite, you sort of basically do a lot of playing. Um, you, you don't, there's, there's, no, there's no paid uh, track actually in the Blanco's uh, for, the, for the battle pass at the moment. Um, so you just basically play every day. There's a whole bunch of, you know, kind of uh, missions to do like, like we typically have with, with games these days, free to play games. And if you fulfill all those all those criteria, um, you kind of build up uh, a you build up um, kind of through the battle pass, um, and um, towards the end, obviously, if you kind of work hard for a month or so, you can you basically can can earn a Sergeant Poppy uh, again, another NFT that's airdropped to your account um, and currently selling for two hundred and seventy five dollars, only one hundred and fifty nine issued, um, and it's actually you do have to work quite hard to get that. So so again, you can kind of see um, you know Blanco's is a play to it's a free-to-play game, so it has that kind of accessibility, um, and, but it has play-to-earn elements. I guess what's interesting is 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 this kind of ability to airdrop NFTs a big enough play-to-earn mechanic? Because um, most play-to-earn mechanics, as I said, have, have either been sort of token. The game has a token that you can kind of mine out um, or, or extract in some way, or, or the game um, has it, like maybe it's like an esports game. It has lots of tournaments you can kind of win money in, so sort of layering that on top. Um, so so Blanco's at the moment. Um, if you weren't if you weren't spending any money at all, um, you could have earned. Um, when we're playing it a lot. You could, maybe you could have earned forty dollars plus two hundred and seventy five dollars. Um, so that's not nothing. That's three hundred dollars. That's pretty good. I guess the balance will be going forward is how many of these sort of free to kind of play to earn NFTs could will be available. I guess there'll always be one in the battle pass, so there'll always be one to earn uh, for. And if it's, if that's two hundred and you know, you know two hundred dollars you know a month you're earning, then, then that's not going to be anyone's full time salary. I shouldn't think anywhere in the world, but but could definitely be a nice kind of side hustle for people. Uh, and I guess we start to get an idea about how how um, you can do you can you know because free to play is such a powerful um, mechanic in terms of getting games out there and getting millions of people playing your game. And if you combine that with play to earn. Um, which is hard to do, I say, particularly around these tokens and, and, and dealing with bots and people mining, people extracting all your value. NFTs allow you to do that in an easier way um, because because you just could sort of control that in in, in a stronger mechanic. Um, and some of these things actually may go up in value even more. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's a sort of different sort of there's different sort of retention mechanic. If you get tokens, you probably want to sell them straight away. If you get NFTs, you might want to keep them. Uh, because they might go, you know, they go up in value in a way that tokens often often don't. So there is an interesting sort of, we can start to see, I'm not saying that Blanco's has, has solved this or any game has solved it. Uh, you know, uh, Act Infinity is, 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 is sort of building a tutorial that will be free to play. So so all these games are sort of moving towards getting free to play elements in there. Um, but typically there's always this sort of issue about how how you, you, you can't just allow people to extract value from your game with no, with no, you know, without them doing stuff, um, either either buying NFTs or, or spending a lot of time playing, which is what Blankers are doing. But I do think I think do think developers are going to find different ways of doing this, um, and this is going to be you know one of the most interesting things for the next six months for game design. How can people play to earn is a big thing. Clearly, we've seen that with with um, Axie Infinity. Free to play is obviously a massive thing. We've seen that for the last ten years in mobile gaming. How can you bring those two things together and suddenly you get this kind of situation where there are millions of people playing blockchain games that are Proper blockchain games that have good economies that are going to last for ten years. You know, I think that's that's the real kind of um, explosive kind of kind of part in, in which we will see uh, blockchain games really hit the mainstream. Um, not happened yet, but I think pretty soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Blockchain Gaming World, um, where we kind of spend our time thinking um, about blockchain games. Um, hope you like that sort of stuff. Please subscribe if you do. See you again soon.